like we were finally dominating in something and it only took everybody else to stop playing it for us to get it. <laughs> but you know what? We, you know what? We take those. That's what as I'm saying. the age saying. old saying goes. <laughs> We'll come back uh, full force in Smash 4. We'll be the good, the best at some game. You know what it is. Maybe it'll be this one. So right now, we got a hand warmer going on, so don't get too excited, folks. Got a little back and forth. And of course, K9, the man who needs no introduction. No uh, fur rebound. <laughs> if y'all follow the Smash subreddit, you know who he is. That's all I'm saying. K9 is a champion. And again, another one of those players, uh, as I was just talking about Bengals, uh, K9... Great guy out of the game. Yeah. Absolutely very humble, very smart, very friendly. But when you get in that game, he is a shark. He is. And it, it's, it's you know what, it's not rage. I know a lot of people like to say, oh, he gets mad a lot. It's, it, he's a passionate player. It's disappointment, really. Exactly, because he, he puts a lot of pressure on himself. And that's good, because that can honestly moment, you know, propel you up to that Absolutely. higher level. Absolutely. But, so let's see what he can do against my man Bengals, who we already know is a stud in his own right. Absolutely. So right now we got Sheik against Zero Suit. Sheik, one of the strongest characters in the game. Zero Suit, not that far behind either. No doubt about it. You know, uh, he is from the West Coast, uh, K9. They don't play anything but top tiers, okay? They don't mess around. If they're not, rock <laughs> if they're not rocking Diddy, you're going to see Sheik, okay? That's true. So don't That's expect true. too much diversity, but expect a, expect a lot of effectiveness. So right now, 63% on Bengals. He's actually racked up a ton right now on the Zero Suit. K9 doing the, what he can to just tack on percent. Kind of uh, doing it kind of slowly. He's kind of sauntering in there. All he's really doing is shooting needles, maybe some jabs, grabs if he can get it. He's, he's not forcing grab. anything. Yeah, nah, that was a good trump right there. Bengals trying to get a good stage from here. Ooh. Not doing a bad job. Got that man off the ledge. Got a 20% difference between these two. There's the up smash. That actually does a lot of damage. Now we've only got a 9% difference, and now it's dead even. Yes, sir. Just like that, Mango's bringing it back. But K9 still on the offensive. Nice bounce fish. Off stage is this man. Back air, yes. Nice. Finds its mark right there. Not enough to kill, though. He is going to live. He actually down B's right in front of him. Ooh. Ooh. He's going to eat that. Yep. Hit him with that diamond cutter. Shout out to K Jewelers. Let's go. <laughs> you know what it is. So well done by K9, able to take off that first stack. Bengals just not getting the ledge. He actually up he's onto the stage, and he is paid for it heavily. How does that car get on the stage? I always wonder that. Anyway, back to the that, game. That, uh, that's a good question. Yeah, that's, that's how I'm wondering. And there's this big tree in the background. I don't know. Anyway, I, I played on this stage too much. I'll just say I'll that. You, man. Anyway, so uh, right now, K9 has absolutely taken complete control of this game. Yeah, I mean, this is just effectively <laughs> just an do incredibly dominating performance right now from K9. Uh, Bengals just doesn't seem like he has the answer to the Sheik right now. Yeah, unfortunately, that's and we don't We don't have too many. Like, we have uh, two very good Sheiks in Neo and Chu in our region, but they don't come out to anything. So, uh, the yeah. practice might, just might not be there. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and Chu actually, maybe not too recently, but he just picked up Sheik uh, not too long ago. He was still trying to do some stuff with Kirby uh, before he made the switch. So, uh, he hasn't been to enough events. Nice, that think. was so good. You saw Bengals trying to recover that ledge. Drop down with the back air. So effective. Follows him all the way down with that back air yes, as he attaches. I told you, man, that, well, that, that's Dr. K9, okay? He's repping Compton Hospital. Put a hole in you and sew it back up. I'm going to keep <laughs> saying that every time that man takes a match. <laughs> it's well, real we'll out see. here. I was going to say, we'll see if you get to say it again, to be honest, because right now we're going to be go to game two. Yes, sir. Bengal's going to get the uh, option of the counter pick, but honestly, I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do. <laughs> wow, with that. <laughs> wow, with that. Oh lord! All right, so here we go. We got the good, uh, the good counter pick here in Battlefield. I like what we're seeing here. Let's see what this man gets done. Okay, Bengals coming out the gate swinging a little harder. Yes, K9's Bruce. K9, yeah. K9, of course, uh, from Arizona. Actually, uh, he he kind of actually he might be in SoCal, uh, SoCal now, but I know that he is originally an Arizona player. Yeah, I remember all the way back in Brawl, he was a Falco player. Uh, before that even, he played Link. So I think he was one of those players that came through, played Link, went to tournaments, realized it wasn't enough, and really stepped his game up. Oh, absolutely. This guy is just, he's incredible. He's a fantastic player. You know, right there on the cups of being like a true pro, I want to say. Absolutely. So, but right now, Bengals has, looks like he's found a little bit of, of the answers right now. Maybe a little more comfortable on the stage as he does have that good percent lead. But K9 right now on the hunt, getting in there. 85 to 45 percent. Bengals already starting this matchup way stronger. We're gonna have to see how he's able to convert this into a lead, though. I mean, he's got the lead right now, but he needs the stock lead. Right. Ooh, interesting, right there. I don't know about that dash attack. Not too safe, right there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Trumps and him he... with the backer. He actually caught him out of the jump. 
So Sheikah's not going to have a jump. Let's see if he can do it. He's oh, been doing he a fantastic job with those trumps. Yeah. Because you know, uh, Zero Suit's back here. Very, very powerful. Very strong. Oh, goes for the, the bouncing fish. If he jumped at all, he was going to jump right into that. Ooh. There's the up going to do it? Yes, he is unable to escape that. And Bengals will take that first stock. Let's go. And this is one of those situations where I wonder how strong the counter pick is in assisting in this matchup. Bengals look so much more comfortable on he really the stage. Does. That was an interesting decision. Oh, and Very go deep for it. Are we going to do it? Nope, the Indiana, Indiana Jones rope saving <laughs> <his success laughs> from that downfall. Makes the pitfall whip. And he actually was able to make it back. K9 went for the same thing that he ended the first game with. He tried to back air him he as he attached to the stage, but it didn't quite work out. Nice. Taking that man all the way around the world right now. A lot of up airs. When Zero Suit is under you, just shooting out those up airs, you got to be scared. You, you, you got to respect No him. doubt about it. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So K9 obviously here, fishing a little bit, just wants to get that kill, throws the bouncing fish out. Oh, tried to end it with the upbeat, was not going to happen on that exchange. Yeah, I think he's going a little wide. Oh, wow. Nice. I was going to say, okay. I think he's going a little wide with the bouncing fishes off stage. I'm not sure if they're going to hit. And then VA Bengals obviously jumping right into no that one. I mean, at the very least, it applies that good pressure. Absolutely. Support. It forces a reaction. We were actually talking about that earlier. It forces your opponent to do something. Yep. Bengals do When they're hitting buttons, that's when you start striking. Yep. Right now, a 31% difference between these two. K9 is behind, but as we said, he is a veteran player. He knows exactly what to do to get this lead back and win the game. Oh, okay. Nice. Wow, sweep them up. Ooh, that's there. That was cute. Just a bloop. All right, K9 chooses to do the safe approach, not rushing it too fast. I like that decision. One of the scary things about this situation Ooh, is that... Oh, now you see right there, that jab actually saved her because I think... Uh, Bengals look for that up B out of shield. I was just about to say, K9 has to be very careful Ooh, of this. And there it is. And that's going to do it. Good right stuff. there. One zero suit has you at maybe 105, 110. Yeah. She has that option of coming out of shield with that up B. And if she hits you with it, you're probably it. dead. You're probably dead. All right. So Bengals, uh, good stuff. Rebounding from a, a bit of a disheartening game one, I want to say. Absolutely. Take yep. that um, game two with affirmative action right there. See? So yeah, so, yeah we're, uh, we're, on to, we're on to game three. Let's go ahead and see what K9's going to pick. K9 doesn't look shook at all. Look at his no, face. No, not at all. And that's good because like the confidence is what you want to see on a player's face. Absolutely. Like, okay, I, I took, you know, I, I won the first game. I took the L the second game. Why can't I win the third one? Time for Why the not? adjustments, yeah. Right. So it looks like we're going to town and city. Yes, he sir. actually won the first game on Smashville. This is just the bigger Smashville. So he thinks, all right, let's just roll here. And that beaver in the background is my favorite character, I swear to God. Yeah, that beaver looks so troll. <laughs> I like, love he looks like the tax man. Hey, up! <laughs> what you mean, beaver bill? <laughs> I paid my tax. <laughs> Why are you coming back? Like, oh, my God. So good. So pretty even right here off the jump. Ooh, that uh, mm. bounce fish a little unsafe. But I didn't like that too much. But honestly, didn't get too uh, much of a punish. Yeah, I think he ate an up air, but he went in a certain trajectory where he wasn't able to follow up on For it. Sure. Ooh. A lot of back and forth between these two. It's a very up in your face game. Wow, and that, as we were saying before, that is a testament to the strength of Sheik's frame data. Yeah. She actually was able to roll back out of being on the ground and roll back in before it was over. Just so fast, and that's why she's the top tier. Exactly, man. She is just so effective. Doing a good job controlling the stage right now. Oh, but Bengals does find his footing, shoots in the wrong direction. K9 does not. A lot of back yeah. This is a chase game right now. Yeah. Back in middle school, boy. Tag, you it. Yeah, we played in the middle school. What up? I ain't have a lot of friends. <laughs> judge me. Don't judge me. No. <laughs> oh, nice. Four there. Not quite enough to get the kill, though. It's not going to be enough. And he goes for the bouncing fish. He goes for that every time off stage. What I want to see Bengals do Ooh. is read that, air dodge, and maybe do a second jump back air, right. hit him off, punish him hard. I want to see that happen at least once during yeah, this set. Yeah, very strong option. Agreed. Oh, oh, wow, gets the good grab out of that. That's going to lead to the up air. And right now, this match might be running a little bit away from Bengals. He needs to slow it down a little bit and just find his opening. Yep. K9 is just striking like a marksman right now. Yep. At 94%. Very soon, he's going to have the rage effect, too, which means if he does hit one of those bouncing fishes and Bengals is at the percent he's yep. at now, he's probably going to die. There was that up beam. We were talking about how strong that was before, but what we didn't mention was the other side of the coin. Ooh, that, that back air, I believe. Yep, that traded. Ooh, Both yep. these characters have such good back air. They got them strong legs. Shouts to Yoga. <laughs> Get it in. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, both of them have very strong back airs. I would say that Zero Suits is a little bit stronger, but uh, on the other side of the coin, 
Uh, they both also have that jumping down B. Yep. Sheiks is way stronger. That bouncing fish is a lot stronger, I think, than Zero Suit's down B, which is that, uh, that little flip jump thing. So right now, 55 to 91. This is not out of the realm of possibility not for at Bengals all. at all. Not at all. Good patience here from K9. Not overcommitting to anything. I like that. But he, the, in that decision, though, he did let Bengals get back to the left. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh not quite, that man not down. quite. He got him with the spike, but it wasn't quite strong enough. We're at 75%. Oh! Oh wow! Oh my it? God! That'll be that and is K9 it. is gonna drop, it, and he wow. makes a face, and he shrugs his shoulders. I, mean, hey. I think That's, everybody was expecting more. I don't think K9 really understood like how to how to approach Zero Suit because I don't think he was respecting that up B enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And we were talking about that, man. That up B is so strong out of shield. It's so powerful. That was crazy. What? A, and, and, I mean, Bengals, he was fighting from behind that whole match. K9 was just out there looking like straight up shark. Absolutely. But uh, shout outs to Bengals, man. He holds it easy. He said before the match, I'm going to take it. And he took it. He was right. That's what it is. He was right. And he was behind right? most of the time. Good stuff. All right. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna tag out real quick for my man Kuntel coming back on the mic. I was just filling in. Uh, he, you know, he had a little indigestion problem. We got a Mose around the corner. It's good, <laughs> but it'll mess with you. So I'll be back a little bit later. Shout out to this guy right here. Hope right, you guys enjoyed the commentary. God bless you. Thanks, man. Got it. Cool. How's it going, guys? My name is Coney. I've been here before, but I've now been joined. Uh, e, he is tagged out. Would you like to introduce yourself, my friend? As you know, guys, it's CT Kuntel right here, finally getting a chance to cast with the epic Coney. I know. We've never done this. I'm so excited. Yes, can, this is fantastic. Can I get hashtag Conetail? Can I get that? Yes, like. the Conetail. <laughs>